Hello and welcome back. We're here on FS22 on Ohio Richlands. The last map I did was on FS19 and I've struggled a bit with the settings to get this looking relatively decent. So what I've done is I've started on the hardest setting. I wasn't sure how to start the series, but we're starting on the hardest setting and it gives you a lot of equipment so I sold everything and I bought field number six here it's ready to harvest with wheat and we have a contract up here on field 21 for plowing there is another one for field three which I can actually go and accept now So that's what we're going to do today. I have got no farm area. Uh, it didn't come with one. It just came with equipment, so I sold all that. And I used the money to buy this brand new equipment. So we've got a trailer. A John Deere weight. And there is uh, a light bar somewhere. There we go. Got this light bar, because we're obviously going to be working well into the night. The header trailer, um, I bought a header, there, here we go, so it's the 40 foot, credit wind system, it is specced up a bit, we have the road dividers there on the side, uh, I didn't go for the bigger one because we haven't got the biggest pipe on the combine. Uh, this is the 760, no, 780. Um, it has a Lancota hitch on the back, which is foldable. Which is handy for pulling the header trailer, keeps the trailer to one side. We have this plough. This isn't ours, I don't know why it's here, it must just be the same as that one over there. This is the 2410 John Deere plough. And we have the 7R. So, that kit should start us off. I think I'm going to get the header. Get it onto the trailer and I'm going to head up to field 3. I'm going to harvest the oat and take it to the cell point to get us going. Then I think I'm going to harvest our field, do the same, straight to the cell point. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm getting the header out of there. But I'll get this equipment all sorted out ready. And we'll see you up at field 3. entrance into the field I will admit but we are in we're not picking up any straw from this field either the other tractor is on its way up not a bad sized field So, I'll get going with this. The tractor should arrive at the bottom corner of that field. And I'll get a headland pass around and tip into it on the roadside. Then I'm going to shift it off into the field. So hopefully it all works out.
first round of the field. Almost done. And so far I've had a treat and a new tractor. It's looking good. Anyway, we'll get this guy off the road into the field and I'll finish this headland pass. And I think I'll do another one. It's a decently straight field. Uh, you can't go wrong with two headland passes. It gives me room to turn on the headlands when I'm doing the up and down rows. So, I'll get cracking on. I'll do that.
That's us almost finished with the contract on field three. So once we're at the end here, we will tip this into the trailer and take it over to the cell point. Then come back down and I think we'll shift across two fields over and that'll be our own field. We'll get that uh, combined into the trailer and to the cell point with the highest price. Then we'll see about ploughing our field ready for the new crop. And we'll also do that ploughing contract on field 21. I think there's a fertilising contract that popped up. I can't remember what field it's for. So we're going to look into the best option for fertilising. If it's a sprayer we need for a liquid or if we're going to go down the route of solid fertiliser. So I'll go and take this last load over to the cell point, complete this contract and we'll see if we've got any leftover grain. See how much we get from that. It's not going to be much but we'll see you in the So we've got 3,855 for the grain over and above the contract and we also got 14,724 for the contract itself. So not a bad income there. We've got 165,000 in the bank. We did have about 100 and I uh, can't remember how much it was now. But we had a fair bit left anyway after buying some equipment and the land. Uh, the next thing I'm going to buy, unless it comes up in the sale, that'd be a cedar. But we do need a place to store our equipment, so we do need a bit of land. So that's next on the cards. Anyway, I'm heading back over to where the combine is, and we'll go two fields down to the south to field number six. That's the one we own. and we're going to get that harvested. I'll take the grain to whatever is the best price. Get it sold now, because obviously we've got no bins. Because we have no yard. Then we'll plough that field, so I need to bring the plough up from the shop. And then plough, I think it's field 21. Yeah, it's on the map there flashing. Field 21 in the northwest corner of the map. That one needs ploughed. Um, there's a fertilising contract, I don't know if I took it on. I'll just quickly check. Contract. No. So, oh it's gone. There's another harvesting contract. Wheat in field 12. It's down the bottom of the map. Um, that's beside the plough harvest my field first and then head down there. We'll see. Right, here we are at my field now. It's just this next one down. So, we'll get cracking with that. And see how long we've got left in the day. There's not a very big entrance into that field. Hmm. I'm maybe better coming on the other side of the combine. Right, I'll head over and get the combine and we'll see you back at this field in just a minute. Well, it is very close, but we are missing his crops.
we'll come in this side to the field here. I don't have a baler. I don't really have an intention uh, of getting a baler. So I think I'm just going to chop the straw that comes out the back. And we'll cultivate that in. Give back a bit of fertilizer. I don't have access to it. I'm pretty sure I bought it. Right, I'll get going with this field. Make another little time lapse for you. Hopefully it's not too long. So we'll see you once we've done the field. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Someone told me I was going to make it to the end of that row at the start of the row. Didn't quite make it. I have taken out some of the crop. It's not a massive field, but it's not that much taken out. I don't think it was going to be a great yield anyway because there is, if you can see the dots are green, there is weeds in the field anyway. But then we haven't done any maintenance to it yet because we've just bought it. So it's going to get ploughed, lined, fertilised, you know, everything thrown at it now, ready for next year. Right up at the top here. Right. Let's head up there. So this is the first load out of our own field, the full trailer. 
Bear in mind it needs ploughed. I didn't check the fertilizer states. It's 8,200. I can quite imagine there's going to be another full load yet. And maybe a half load. So, probably looking around 20,000. Not bad for our first harvest from the first field with nothing done to it. Happy enough with that to start us off. Uh, looking at the amount we've got, 173,000. If we still get another 12,000 in, yeah, about 185. So that's uh, more than enough to get a cedar. If one doesn't come up in the sale, I'm um, looking at the Lemkin uh, 12 meter. Just seems like the best value for size. Uh, the map's not really made for the big Borgo drills. Although I do have them installed. Um, I just don't think it fits. It's more for a big 4X or 16X map. Would be good to have them though, but they're very expensive as well. Got two parts to the drill. One of them's about 240,000. The other one's... I think it's a lot dearer. I think it's like 300 and something thousand. But yeah, I think it's about 160 for our, our Lemkin 12 meter cedar. It's not a planter, it's just a cedar. We don't need anything fancy. Um, it's just going to be grains we're, we're drilling. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll uh, go back down, fill the trailer up with what's in the combine and do another couple of runs. Tip it in the trailer, we should have a full load. And take it back up, that's another 8,000, that's 8,200. And then we'll have a look to see what's in the sale. Finish up that field, bring our plough up. I think I'm going to do the contract first because our field's not going to disappear. contract field might so yeah that's the plan I'll crack on and get that done Well, we're very close to finishing, so I think we'll get it all in this trailer load. I can't remember how much is in the trailer now, and um, we'll take it up to the sell point. So we'll get this done and we'll see you when we're selling. check here and uh, make sure there's no other contracts there's wheat and canola 
Um, I think I'll do the plowing one first. Uh, I'll get that one out of the way just now. So, that's what we're going to do. I'll see you down at the shop. Just done field 20 is it? 21? Yeah, field 21. So that's almost 11,000. Field 33. I'm not sure where that one's down the bottom. Numbers are all over the place. Nope, it's up the top quite well. Could maybe do that one. Four and a half thousand. Just a little field. Yeah, why not? I'll get that one as well. There's still two harvesting contracts I can do. Um, maybe just go and do that plowing one first since I've got that machine attached. And we'll get the combine over to that field. I've still got my field to to plow as well. So I'll make my way over there and we'll see you at the next field. Well it's not really a big field so this really isn't going to take long to do. Not bad for just under 5,000. So I'll crack on and get this done. We'll maybe go down and do our field. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll maybe do the harvesting ones, but time is pushing on. That's uh, half past five already today. It's only the first day we've done quite a lot. We'll see what like the time is once we finish this and back down. And um, we'll take it from our field. So we'll see you down there.
Well, I think we'll do the harvesting contract. Because why not? Field 12 and 17. Twelve. Oh, that's the wheat field down here. Uh, Seventeen is just over to the right-hand side there. Um, yeah, why not? We'll accept both of them. They're both going to the same place. They're different products, which isn't so bad. Right, we'll see you over at the combine. And we'll take it down and we'll do the wheat field first because it's closer. And I hope we still have daylight left to finish the contract. So, I'll meet you over at the field. Well, that took a little longer than first expected. It's now 10 to midnight. However, that is the jobs done. Well, almost. A bit of a montage in the last few minutes of the video. Uh, between field seven, 17. No, this is field 17. And field 12. But that's us done now. Head to the other side of the field. I'll tip into the trailer. And we'll go and deliver it to the cell point. I forgot the trailer already had a full load in it. So we're getting rid of that just now. And then we'll head back down and pick up what's left in the combine, take it up, and get that delivered to finish the contract. So that's 72% finished. 
I don't think there's going to be much left, but we'll go get it loaded. Come back up and have a look. Well, this is the last load. What was left in the combine? 13,457 litres. So that's the contract finished and we got 2,350 on top of the contract. Which is there. So we've got 6,000 for that contract and 8,500 for the other one. There's a fertilizing contract. I need a fertilizer and that is good money. So we'll accept that. I'm going to purchase a new fertilizer tomorrow. And we'll see you then for the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching.